Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Estancia Lapacho here in Paraguay and we have a full combine right here. It's right filled up to the very, very brim. I had, well, I, I gotta just cycle through them a minute. I had over here a tractor that was not quite doing what I was hoping it would do. It was, I, I got it set with a course play program up to here and I thought you had to like add on some extra bits onto the end in order to get it to work. That wasn't working out for me, it wasn't doing what I was hoping it would do and I couldn't figure it out. A lot of people have helped me out in the comments section and what we're going to do here is clear current course and we're going to go into here and I've got field 8 right there. That is the one that I want so I just want to go load course like that and then I want to go onto here and actually no I want to go there manage combine. So this is going find combine automatic search. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to select manually and I'm going to go with the T660i that is going to be the combine that we're going to use. Uh, how, do, how do I use that one? You, you can... Oh, I can scroll up and down. Choose combine. There. I think I just do it like that. I think I do it like that. I'm not entirely certain how this works. Uh, but then if I go drive course, he should now go on to here. He'll, he'll, he'll run this course, but then he should now be looking for that combine. And in theory, what he'll do is he will get to here and then he will go to another field and he will go to that combine. Then he'll come back to this point, he'll go and unload the trailer. This is going to work out really well for us and it does actually look like it's going to do it because the combine is going to work these three fields up here as well as this one. So going from this point for the course, it will drive, the tractor will drive back to there and then it will run the course and it will come back, then it will go to the combine. This is ideal, this is perfect, this is what we want, because there's nothing in the way of any of these fields here, so it should be able to work its way through. So thank you very much to everybody that helped me out with that last week. I really, really appreciate it, that is absolutely awesome, and now this one is actually working. So we're just going to keep an eye on this one and just watch uh, what it does and see how it sort of um, pans out. It, it, well, I don't think it's going to do a great deal at the moment, it's just going to sit there, the combine's going to empty it out, and then the combine will go away again. My question that I asked you all last week while we watched this one was, do you still want me to do the weekly question? How much does that mean to you? And I have taken the comments that you put in the comment section about this as well, taken those on board, and I really appreciate all the feedback you've all given me. I had 1,405 people answer the question. I had 79 people say, no, they don't really want the weekly question. I had 216 people say they don't really mind either way, and I had 1,110 people say, yes, keep it, it's very important to you. One of the biggest comments in the comment section was, some of you really like the, um, the, the questions that seem bigger. The, the questions that I do, like where I'm asking, do you want uh, this machine or this machine, those aren't particularly important to some of you, and so those are the questions that you won't really bother answering. But some of the other questions that I ask where, you know, like, did you want me to do the um, the big extension that we're doing up here or over in the middle of the map, those which really influence the future of the farm and how we develop the entire series, those are far more important to you. So I will try to ask um, some more of those questions rather than just the machinery-related ones. However, I'm not going to just do that I will still answer machine, uh, ask machinery ones, because I know some of you like the machinery ones, but also I can't really ask the big questions every single week because we don't sort of progress it fast enough to do that, and it's going to feel a little bit disjointed. I'm going to be asking you things that will never, ever get done, and that's something that I don't want to do either. I'm very sort of conscious of the fact that I could end up doing that, so I do want to try to avoid it. It does do some strange turnings at the ends of some of the fields here, doesn't it? But no, that does seem to be going quite nicely now. So we're going to leave that one to carry on there. Um, and we're going to move back through over here to the one that I want over here somewhere. There is our fluffy train. I've got a different plan for the fluffy train, which is based entirely on a single suggestion made by a viewer last week that I thought was actually really cool. So we're going to try something different instead of the fluffy train this week, just for the last bits of silage that we've got left. I have no idea if this is going to work. If it does, it's going to be absolutely wickedly cool. 
If it doesn't, well, so be it. We will just have to go back to um, the, the fluffy train just to finish off. But we will try the other thing first. Just bring that one over there like that. And then I want to go... Actually, I want to go back that way. Yes, I do. We take this one and we will run it. It's only just got to run over here. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that in just a moment. So let's just load this one up here. I'm going to bring that one up to there. So what weekly question am I going to do this week? The We've had two weeks where I was asking about the machinery. Um, we're going to be having... I, oh, I was also told it is not a Harrison tractor. It is, in fact, Big Bud. Big Bud is the name of the company. Um, so we will be getting that. We will be getting the Big Bud tractor. The small Big Bud tractor. It's a Big Bud 450. That is actually what it's known as. Um, I was saying Harrison, but apparently that's something different, maybe related. I'm not quite sure. Seems a little complex. But anyway, that's the one that we are getting. And we're also getting the Stara Estrella drill as well. But I'm, I will have that probably ready for tomorrow's episode, to be fair. Um, so we've got that tractor right there, which is 450. Uh, 225,000, I should say. That one's 225, and we've got this one over here, which is the Stara Estrella. That one is right there, 215. So basically, we're having $450,000 added into the game. 450,000 is not too shabby. That's that's not a huge. That's, that's that's not a small amount by anybody's standards. That is just being gifted to us. We don't have to pay for it at all. There is no sort of complications with that. Um, so, yeah, perfect, ideal. We will deal with that in a bit. So let me just back that one up there and skip out. Hit you on there. And then we're going to get you, and we will back you up over onto this trailer. This is the very last load of our silage. Our silage will be complete. Um, I asked you last week about sugarcane. Does sugarcane ever get used as a forage crop? Does it get used for feeding animals? And apparently, in some places... Sugarcane is actually used as a forage crop, and I I was gobsmacked at this. I, I genuinely did not think that sugarcane could even be fed as a forage crop. Apparently, in some places, it is. It's not very common, but it is done. Uh, just start that one up, and we will go through. And we'll just take off this little bit along here. Um, but yeah, that it genuinely surprised me that sugarcane is used as a forage crop. But some people said that yes, they do actually use it as a forage crop, and it's, it's not all that unusual. It's not the most common one to use because sugarcane is generally used for other things, but um, it can be used as a forage crop. Uh, uh, absolutely amazing! I, the amount of things that I learn by doing this series is quite phenomenal, and, and I, I've never grow tired of learning new things. There's always fascinating different things that you can learn. Um, so anyway, let's just get this one moved into place and then we can go on with this week's weekly question, which I'm hoping is going to please some of you. This plateau up here is quite a big place to get to. Um, now, we have been up here and we've done a little bit of work up here. We haven't done lots of work up here, but we have sort of gone up there and we tested out a couple of bits of machinery and stuff. Some of you have actually requested that I do something up here, maybe turn it into a grass field or something. We can't really access it from the north side. We've got to come all the way around. We've got to access it from the south side, which is kind of what I think they um, sort of set it up to do. So you got uh, you can harvest the trees along here and you can bring them down to the train where they can then be taken all the way up around to the lumber yard. Do you want me to do this? Do you want me to harvest a few of the trees around this area here, but then when we're done, plough it up, turn it into grass, and use it as a grass field? So it would be quite a big involved project, and it would involve yet more forestry, which I know some of you really don't want me to do. Um, but we could try it. So do you want me to remove a few trees from this area here, and then plough it up, and plant it with grass and actually farm some of the area at the top of the plateau. It's your vote, it's your game. Head into the comment section down below, let us know which one you want and why, and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner. Do you want me to farm up on top of there or not? Now I think we could possibly get to it from that bit right there near the road. Um, but obviously the main access point would be around the other side. We could always try and do something a little bit different to get up on top of there. Um, slightly different access route. I'm not quite sure. Maybe we could go and get some of the, um, the soil. We could tip like a few trailer loads of soil and go up from this side. It could prove interesting. I'm not quite sure yet. We will have to wait and see. So I'm just going to let that one fill up there. I want to go back to this one. And we're going to start running over towards the silage clamp. Now I said that I'm not using the fluffy train today in order to tip everything out. 
Something else I gotta say, and I almost forgot about this. We need to do we need to do this first rather than later. My um, random event is this week I shook a six and then I shook a one, and that is a tractor or loader has broken down. So we've got a tractor or loader. Now I'm not actually counting the man truck in this one, but if you think that I should in future count the man truck in this one because that would seriously hamper our farm if we lost the use of that for a week that would have a major effect because we tend to do more with this one than we do with anything else so in future if you think i should include this one then obviously comment today should i include it or not um yes to the man or no to the man to be included if this one comes up again um we still got to roll uh, on the machinery section a six first and then a one which brings up this particular item um, although there are some other machinery breakdown ones as well, so I'm not including that one. So we want to go through, and I'm not also not including that because it's not a tractor, and that one isn't particularly important either. So what we've got is that one. We've got one, two, three, four. I don't include that one as a tractor. Tractor or loader, it says. So we've got four, and then we come over here a little bit further, and we've got five for the John Deere, six for the 7030, eight for the Merlot. And then if we go into here, we don't actually have any leased tractors. So we've got eight. Now, it's a bit difficult to do a random roll on that. So I'm going to have to do it on, rather than rolling a dice, I'm going to have to do it on Google. So I will just go and do that a second. Google's random number that it came back with was number eight. So we need to go back into our garage here a second. And we need to go all the way up to the very end to the final tractor we had on our, it's the Merlot. That's is actually going to be a little bit inconvenient for us this week. I was hoping it wouldn't be the Merlot, but it is the Merlot. We've lost the Merlot for the entire week. So let me just, that one's finished. It's because it's finished. I was actually hoping to use the Merlot for a couple of things this week. Um, in particular, the cows, their base food is 15%, right? The, the, that combine has now been repaired. So we'll be able to put that one back, although we don't actually need to use it. Well, no, it's not quite repaired yet. It's for the entire harvest. Um, but no, the Merlot has broken down. Fortunately, the engine still works. Fortunately, the engine does still work. Um, but no, it's, it's, the, it's the boom that doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this one over here. Um, and miraculously, every time we get a breakdown, it always seems to be that the engine still works, but nothing else does. So we're going to drop that there. Um, no, it's, it's the hydraulic pump has gone on it this time. And the hydraulic pump is rather important because it sort of does just about everything. It also... Um, some machines have a separate hydraulic pump for the steering than they do for the rest of the machine. Some machines have the same. Um, this one is steering, so I'm assuming it has a separate pump. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's just working a little bit. Maybe it's some hoses broken, so it's not just the hydraulic pump. I don't really know, but it's broken. We can't use it. That one is out for the week. Unfortunate very very unfortunate because we have base food at 15 percent and our cows will need feeding this week um we are most likely going to need to go and get one of our tractors fitted with a temporary front loader that we're going to have to lease and we're going to, have to do it like that i can't think of any other way that we can do it we're, we're going to have to probably yeah that is probably the way that we're going to have to do this Right, let me just go over here a second and see what our tractor is doing i want to see how it's doing with the course play there we go. It's nearly full. I'd, w I'd like to be able to see what it does once it gets to um, that combine being full, this one being done, and it um, sort of driving the course. It's going to be interesting to see how it chooses to drive the course. So let's just go through all the fluffies, and we'll go back to this one. We'll start driving, and we'll just keep an eye on the combine and the rest of it on the little numbers on glance. We can take this over, and then we can get started on kind of the... The big thing that I would like to try and do today that somebody suggested in the comments section, we've got one chance to try this, and then we probably won't get another chance to try this for a very long time, if at all, in this series. I mean, quite likely we will have another chance much later on in the series, I don't really know. Um, but yes, we, we've got to grab this with both hands enthusiastically, just in case we don't have the chance to try this again because uh, this is such an awesome idea and I really really hope that it works I really do 
I, I, at the moment, I've got absolutely no idea, though. I really don't. It's, it's, um, it, yeah, I, I know I'm sort of speaking in code at the moment, but you'll understand why I don't really want to, well, actually, to be fair, um, I already know that, uh, one, once we start, it's going, that is going to sort of be the highlight for, uh, that, that, what the, what the thumbnail will be based on. So, um, yeah, chances are you will have already seen this because you will have seen the thumbnail. Uh, let me just bring that one around, and then I want to go to you. We'll back you back out round this way. Swing you in round there. There we go. Stop you, and then I should be able to go... Really? Oh, it's going like that. Ah, I see. Right. We'll go to you, and no, there's none behind me. And we'll go whizzing out round here. You know, actually, no, it doesn't matter. We can stuff all of these in here, and they're not going to be in the way. Bring that one through. It'll probably be a good idea if... I, no, actually, that one doesn't want to go through. That one's got to stay there. Let's turn that one off, and then we go back. Turn you off. Go back again. Bring you out through. It takes quite a while to move any of these when you've got, like, a whole load of them all lined up. Bring that one there and switch him off, and then go back to the last one, and we'll just shove this one in here so he's out the way, and... That bit is done. Right. We're done. Now, I want to go back through this way and get back to our truck. And we'll bring this one up through. Now, the direction we've been tipping lately, I'm thinking that we want to come up to the top and we'll come down through the clamp. We'll try and squash a little bit of it out a bit, if we can. But I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, we also need a loader of some kind to sort of come up here and push in the back end of the clamp just a bit, because that is also um, going to be a little bit problematic for us. We could do with that. So let me just tip this one out. I watched a video the other day of these trailers working in sugarcane mills. Some of them do actually tip up like this, and some of them don't tip up at all. Some of them are, it's, it's all to do with chains, and they have these um, chains down inside the trailers. And then when they get to their destination, let me just jump out a minute, because you can see chains on the sides of these. Uh, not on that side, round on this side. Yeah, see these chains here? Now what they've actually got is they've got longer chains and chains go down inside the trailers and then they, so they sort of come out down here and they sort of hook along the bottom here and then the person comes along and he hooks, he just unhooks the chains like those there and he hooks them on all the way along, kind of like straps, like how we use straps on um, uh, other trailers and he puts them onto these hooks that are on a big crane overhead and then the crane lifts up the trailer itself doesn't tip at all but the ch as the chains lift up it lifts up the entire contents of the trailer which is a longish cut on pieces of sugar cane it lifts it all up and dumps it out to the side so you never actually tip the trailer over the only issue i can see with that is it does leave bits behind in the bottom of the trailer and i imagine that eventually some poor fella has got to climb inside and shovel out all the remaining bits of sugar cane but it did it did seem to work really well it, it did seem to tip them out i don't know how common those are i've seen several others where the trailers were um all being just lifted up into the air and tipped over um, and it did look really cool it looked like it would be really quick efficient and also keeps the cost of manufacturing the trailers way way down because you don't have to worry about any hydraulic rams or anything like that and that's quite expensive um fitting all the hydraulic rams and stuff onto the trailers that that is a bit that is fairly pricey uh what have we done on here that's hired six percent let me go through and see what we're doing with our combines and tractors oh this one's on 78 percent so he's nearly finished what is this combine where is it? There it is. Went too fast. What does this combine do once it gets all the way finished? I think it... I think it stops and the tractor will go and empty it out. So it will do that one final pass. I hope it does. We'll see. We'll see in a minute. We go back... Oh, no. I went too far. There we go. I'm going to go to this one. We want to go and just get that last trailer load of silage. And then we're done. We don't have to worry about silage anymore. We'll, yeah, well, we'll put this one over in the field. We can we can come back and collect this one a little bit later, and we'll hook the two together again. Uh, I do have the odd little bit of silage left around. Uh, not very much, though. I will just gather up that bit, because otherwise it is going to irritate me. I know that there are some down the other end of the field. However, I'm actually going to just leave those, because I'm that kind of inhuman monster. Um, so sorry to the OCD folks. I won't be going and gathering it. Uh, let me just go in there. So I want to unhitch that one. 
And then we can nudge you forward a bit and we can switch you off and we can jump out. Right. Absolutely wonderful job we have done with this one. It has been a pleasure to use it. However, the time has come for it to be returned. So we're going to go to the garage and we're going to go over to here and I'm going to go back through and we're going to say this one right here can be returned. They can come and collect it. This is what they do. They come and collect it. Now this trailer, we couldn't get the header up onto the trailer. It is entirely possible is because we had the um, the tracks rather than the wheels and the wheels would lift the machine up a little bit higher and that would actually get it to work. So if we come to do this again and we use this same John Deere one again, we will try it. We'll do it with wheels instead of with tracks and we'll see if we can get this trailer to work. So we need to return that one. Yes, that's got to go back. And we want to return that one. Yes, that one's got to go back as well. Right, so they've come and collected all of their machinery. All done. So fast we didn't even see it. It's like a, all over in the blink of an eye. It was absolutely wonderful to behold. Uh, where is our combine? We've got, there it is, least combine. I just want to get this one up to the end so that I can see what the tractor does. I'm very, very curious about how it's going to run the course for the, the final bit of the course play. And then we can also move the combine into the next field over there. And I'm hoping, that again, the tractor, the John Deere over there with the, that's doing the corn, will just follow us and it'll, it'll do everything that it's supposed to do. There we go. The end of the field. Now, what's the tractor going to do? Is he going to come up here? No, I don't think he is. He's just sat there. This one's just sat here as well. But if I open the spout, is the tractor going to come over? If I do that, is he going to come racing up to us? Or not? Hmm. Doesn't look like he's planning to do anything at all. If I go... I need to flick through and find said tractor. If we, there he is. It's not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? I feel like waiting until level... Oh, uh, we've got to wait until the field level is reached. Okay, so we, we want to go back to the combine and we'll just start it on the next field. And hopefully it will still work. It will still be able to go and do everything that it's supposed to do. So we'll bring this one. Start it up. Spout back in. We're not going to need that for a minute. And we'll come whizzing around here. Just missed that little shed there and go over across here now i'm hoping that we will be able to avoid all of the stumps and everything if we do it sideways along here rather than straight up and down from where we are at the moment if we go this way and go across it should be okay i'm hoping that this will mean that we won't actually hit any stumps or anything and not be able to do the whole field so that one's going to go across there and then once obviously once it reaches the fill level the tractor should come and unload it and then it should go and run the full course all the way back to the farm we're trying. I'm going to try and keep an eye on that as it runs through. While we're waiting for that, we got to just go and tip the very last of the silage over in the clamp. And then once that's done, we've got to roll down the very last of the silage. So I'll just bring that one back there and bring that over and hitch it on. And we're away. So we've only got another 7,300 litres in here, which is not a huge amount. But I think we've done all right with the clamp. We'll see when we get over there. We can take a look at just how much we've got. I don't think we've done too bad. I think we've done pretty well with filling up that clamp. It's gotten through the silage pretty quick. We did have this little awkward bit to start with here on this field. But overall, I'm quite pleased with the performance that we had. We've got the... It, it's been done in a in quite a timely fashion, I feel. I don't think we spent too long trying to get that job done. Um, it did take a little bit, but I think we've done a, a really good job. Once this is done, we can get the um, the big bud tractor, or the, lit the little bud tractor. We'll be able to get that one going until... Um, we'll be able to get that one going with the Star at Australia. That will just finish off the very last of it. And... Ooh, no, I want to go out and... Whoa! What are you doing, Frith? Learn to drive! Yeah, we'll get the Star at Australia. That one... Uh, and plant, get that planting in the field. That'll, that'll all be going along to... Quite tickety boo, be wonderful, be awesome. It won't have any problems whatsoever. And while it's doing that, we will then be able to go and finish our job up in the north. That up there, we won't be doing anything up there. Oop, nope, I definitely didn't want to do that. I wanted to do that. Wrong button. There we go. Just tip out the last of that into there, and that is finished. I'm just going to move this one out here a little bit, and then I'm going to park it up because I don't actually want to drive it off just yet. Park that one there. Right, the combine is still combine. It's only at 21% at the moment. It's going to take a little while in order to finish that. 
in, or, in order to fill up enough that it's going to call the tractor over so the tractor comes and empties it out. It's a bit of a nuisance, but yeah, we'll we just have to wait for that. I need to go, however, and get the other bit. We've got this ultimate test that I want to see if we can roll down the silage clamp with this one thing. And if it works, it's going to be wicked. If it doesn't, I'm going to be very, very disappointed. So we need to go in here. I don't even know where it is. I don't even know what section. I'm, I'm wondering if maybe cars. Nope, it's not into cars. Uh, probably then in, under miscellaneous. We've got the Roper DLC. I did a video of that one at the end of last week. I quite like the Roper DLC. I'd say this machine here is the one that makes it worth it. Uh, we will be trying to use that machine fairly soon. We're going we're gonna, to, uh, quite possibly in tomorrow's episode, actually, because I got a bit of an idea of something that we could do in order to warrant using it. I mean, with that being said, it's still $328,000, which is a little bit pricey. So, yeah, maybe not quite yet. Now, why is it not here? It's not showing up. Uh... Okay, now, is it under here? You probably, there we go. You probably guessed when I went to animals. We can buy small bales of hay for it. I didn't realize you could even do that. Bale format pony food is needed to increase the performance of your pony, alternative to the feed bag. Feed pony food in the bag is needed to increase the performance of your pony. Bucket of fresh drinking water is needed to increase the performance of your pony. Okay, this is really cool. I didn't realize it had these things. Increase performance. Increased performance. And then you got that one there. You got an old wooden cart for transporting pieces, goods, a piece of goods or bales. Tension straps ensure a secure hold. And you have the pony. You can ride on this pony. Your pony needs food and water so that it can develop to its full potential. We're going to get that one. And this one is $16. Total price. What? What? Base. What? I, I, I don't understand. $200. Select. I can have brown, or I can have black, or red brown, or brown. Hmm. I think we will go for one of each. We're going to buy that one there, and then I'm going to buy a black one. And I'm going to buy a red brown one there. So I've got three ponies. Now, as for the rest of it, I've no idea. I don't know if we actually need the wooden carts or not. Uh, we've got the wooden cart here. It, it just has straps. It doesn't look like it's got anything else. We've got standard design. Only platform. Okay. Right, I want to try this. With... What are you doing? Okay, we're going to let that one continue its weird dance. It's, it's doing some strange things. And Nope. Ah, it was, it, I, I moved over here. It was because of the um, DJ Phantom. So there we go. We've got the red-brown pony. Looking wonderful. And then we've got this one here. Um, okay, looking really closely at their mouths. That is... Very strange and slightly creepy. Uh, overall, though, this looks really cool. So let's let's try it. Right. <laughs> Brilliant. And look, he's got hay and water. <laughs> That's the fuel. It's actually got hay and water levels as fuel. Oh, that's fantastic. Full animations. I'm using my steering wheel and accelerator and everything. <laughs> this is brilliant. I've got a pony! I'm riding a pony! I don't actually like horses in real life, and they know this, and they don't like me either. So they do, yeah, they're, they're not very nice to me. Um, but I'm, I'm quite happy to ride a pony around in the game. <laughs> oh, this is fantastic! Brilliant! Okay, I'm very glad that we have tried this, but... There is something very, 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 very important that we need to do. We're going to go off of this one, we're going to climb off. You sit there, pony. I'm going to go on to the next one. <laughs> I love the slow start. And then we go like this. Hang on. I'm, I'm going to go and I'm going to put it on to max speed. We go some. We go some. 32 kilometers an hour. Full sprint. Right. Let's bring this one over here now. The big question. Does this work? I really hope this works. I really, really hope this works. Yes, it does. You can already see what I am planning. You can see what I am planning right here. We're going to put that one so that he goes right up close. How close does he get? Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is going to work beautifully. I'm deliberately coming up here and turning round. Coming over here. 
because we're going to get more. Now, we got six of our quad bikes going around in a circle. What do you mean, unable to locate trail? There's a trail there. I know there's a trail there because I put a trail there. Do not, do not tell me things like this. Move closer to the leading vehicle. Right, I'm about as close as we can get to this leading vehicle. Let's try that. This is bad. I'm wondering if maybe we need to do this from the back to the front, maybe. I'm going to put that one there. And then we're going to go to this one, and I'm going to take this off of Follow Me. So I know that the Follow Me works on that. Right, let's back you up a bit. Back up, back up. Come on, horsey. There we go. And I'll bring that one over a bit, and I'm going to stop that one there. Right. So then we're going to go in here, and we're going to get some more horses. Now, we had six of the others. I'm going to go for nine of these. Actually, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do nine. Um, bye. And bye. Okay, let's go. Let's go for eight. I go for another red brown because uh, that's the closest to ginger that we can get, and I have ginger hair. And then we we'll go for another black one as well. So we're, we're leaving out the the original brown. So if I go like that, and then I go right. What I'll do is I'll take these. Steady. Please tell me. Oh. We'll look at that in a minute. We'll look at tipping the horses over in a minute. So I'm going to bring this one round like this. And I'm going to bring it up the back like that. And I'm going to stop it there. Let me just do this a minute. Let me put all these horses in a row. And then we will see how well this idea of mine is going to work. Oh, hang on. No, no, no. We need to go to the John Deere a minute. Course play. It's working. Let's come down into this field. It's going to the start of the course, and then it will run the course, I think. Yes. Let's come down to this bit. And then it runs the course. Beautiful. Okay, we know that's working. Now, let me go and get these horses lined up, and we'll see if this works. Right, I've got eight horses all in a line, so now the idea is, now that I've sort of done them out in a line, I'm hoping I can go through each of them and I can get them to follow the one in front. So if I go Control F, yes, that one is following. Uh, I want to bring the uh, head distance up. So we go to that one and then you're going to follow that one. And we'll do it like that. We're going to keep them quite close together and then I will follow. Is it? Why is he not following? He should be following. You should follow this one here in front. There we go, it's worked. I'm going to bring that one up, and then I go to this one, and control F. Yes, that one's following as well. And then we go to this one. Is it, is it going to, oh no, control F. I keep doing control W, which is probably what's causing part of it. I think I need to do these on tens, rather than anything else. Let's, let's get them to follow first, and then we can worry about that. Uh, control F, yep, you're working. And we go to you, and we go Control F, and you're working as well. So yeah, we, we I think we'll go. I'll go back through, and I'll set all of these on ten, and that will, because otherwise they're going to be too close together. I think, or are they? No, actually, I think it's going to work. I think it will be okay on ten, uh, on five rather. So let's bring that one up a bit, and go to you. Bring you up a bit, and then we go to you. Bring you up a bit. And then we go to this front one, and I have got eight ponies all in a line, and they're all following me. This is fantastic. Got pony trekking. I'm doing pony trekking. So, obviously the idea is to find out if we can use horses to roll our clamp of silage. This is a very, very important thing. This is a, this is a great mystery of life. Can you use horses to do this job? Um, many, many people have pondered this over the years. Can you use horses to roll your silage clamp? And I, Frithgar, am today going to answer one of the great questions of the universe. So just just bear with us. Um, th this is actually working really awesome. Look at it! I got a line of eight horses all trotting along after me. This is fantastic. This is absolutely brilliant. The only thing I don't think I'm going to be able to do is to get them to actually go in a line once we get over to the silage clamp. We'll see. We'll see how well this works. So we'll just keep going here. This is awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're all there. 
They're all there. Every single one of them. <laughs> I really hope we can get this to work. I really hope we can just get them going in a loop. I could just do them in a circle here in the field. I know that would work. Do we go through the middle of the sugar cane? Quite frankly. Um, you know that I want to find out if we can put them through here. And that's what I'm about to do. I'd be disappointed if you don't want to at least see what it looks like. Um, okay, we can't actually see anybody at all. There is nothing. And they're going to come bursting out. Oh, now we could just see their heads coming up through. Where's the rest of them? I can, I can just make out the odd dot in the middle of the field. And then they will come bursting out. There we go. And the next one. The sugar cane is spewing forth all the horses. There should be eight of them. There's five and there's six. And there's seven and there's eight. They're all there. Every single one of them. I'm not going to even attempt to name all these horses. I've got no clue what we would call them. I have absolutely no idea. So I'm going to have to keep this at a flat out gallop. So that I can perform the loop that I need to do in order to get this to work. I've got to be able to loop it round and then start following the rear horse. And if I can get that to work, they will just keep driving around the circle. The only thing we don't know is how unstable they are when they go around the corner. But we will find out very shortly. And no, I'm not... I, I, I could just go cut straight to the business over there um, and like miss out this bit as we sort of talk and just admire these horses as we go along. But no, I'm not going to do that. I actually want to do this and admire the horses and the work that's been put into them. Look at the little dust cloud that they're kicking up. That's brilliant. They're kicking up a tiny little dust cloud as they run along. And they're all doing it. You can see the dust cloud. There we go. They're, they're actually jumping. Okay, now this is the difficult bit. This is the tricky bit right here, is can they get across the silage? I'm using my steering wheel and, ooh, this is, this is a bit more tricky. Um, they are actually genuinely struggling to stay upright on that. And of course the big question is, can I get to that back horse in time? I need to come in round tight like that and... No, 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 that's no good. Okay, let's let's start again. I think we need more horses. I just don't think I <laughs> You see the way they're toppling over, that is brilliant. He's not going fast enough though. He's not going fast enough to fasten on to the back horse. I think I need to go all the way down here. If I can get down this end, I think I may be able to just catch that back horse there and follow him. No, 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 that's not worked. Still not worked. We need to keep going. Maybe I need to slow them down a bit? I don't know. If I, if I, this, this bit might be tricky. Oh, I'm catching up. I'm catching up because I'm going really, really tight to the wall as I turn. There. I may be able to do this. I might be able to... Yes, are you working? Are you working? Please tell me you're working. I've done it! I've got them working! I've actually got the horses running in a loop. They're getting stuck on the wall up there. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's a minor, minor petty detail that we just don't care about. Look, there it goes. Goes around the corner and he's going to keep going. I'm going to get off the front horse. They've done it. They're actually doing it. I've got a train of horses. A horse train. This is cool. Okay, we want, we want to climb up onto here. And we're going to run down this way. And then we can look at our... There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a horse train. I need to get rid of that one so that I can get a screenshot. You know that this is you know that we gotta have a screenshot. Why aren't you moving? Okay. Unless you're moving, this is not really gonna work. This is kind is Why is that oh that one's set on twenty, that's why. Uh can I like shove you along? Move. You're stuck. This is not good. This is this is not good. This is not is it don't fail me now. I was so close to perfection on this one. Uh, I don't think it's working. I think we may have to get on to this one. Take it off and follow. We have to try this again. Okay. I'll have to come around there. And I'm going to have to try and just sort of stay out ever so slightly. Come around that way like that there and then follow on now hopefully these horses will do all right i just need to get them round the next bit so that they'll catch up to me i should be able to do this quite easily actually 
Um, I can... They, they've got to get round that bit there. <laughs> They're all tipping themselves over as they go around that. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! It's insane! Right, if I can bring this one round here, I can then just follow that one. This is my only chance! Yes! We've done it! We have made the chain work. So let me just come back up here so that I'm out of the way of the chain. Are they going to still do it? Yes, you are coming through! It's beautiful! It's wonderful! It's actually working. Let me come down here. I need to get this screenshot. This has to... Perfect! There! Look, we got it. We got, we got the horse train. We got the horse train. I can see them all lined up. It was worth it. It was worth all of the effort. You know it was. This is wonderful. And it's actually working. They've compacted the silage down as well. I got a line of horses. And the horses have compacted the silage for us. This is truly a wondrous day. This has got to be one of the best, best moments in Farming Simulator ever recorded. Right here. Horses doing the compacting the silage for us. They're wading through the stuff down here. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at it. Look at him go. Oh, yeah. The one that I was just wondering, why is that one waiting so far back? Because that one is set at 20 on the following, whereas all the rest is set on five. So this one at the front here kind of sets like a, a whole line and then and then the whole line come on through as well. This is this is absolutely amazing. I'm so pleased that we have tried this. I'm also kind of disappointed that we didn't have this going from the very start. So there we go. We have a line of horses rolling our silage for us. And we, we've kind of run out of time. So my question for this week is, do you want me to do a little bit of work, a bit of forestry work up there on the plateau, and then plough a section of it up so we have a workable field on top of the plateau? Or do you think that is not something we should expand into at all or not yet. You know, I'm going to do a yes or no on this one. But yeah. Um, comment down below whether you want variations on this theme or not. Um, obviously those will be down to you. We can always go and take a look at the small plateau up there. Instead of down here. Um, no idea how you'd like me to play this one out. But we'll see. So. Do you want me to plough up a section of the plateau? Yes or no? It's your vote. It's your game. Head into the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give me a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.